out of here. I really should fix up my room while I'm at it. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor series, right here on Pokemon Sword version. So, in our last episode, we, you know, ran into Hop. He's right behind me, looking at me. All sternly and all that stuff, yes, we went to go find some nectar and then, you know, proceeded to get my butt kicked by a Vespiqueen. A single Vespiqueen. And, uh, well, today, right here, we're going to be battling the Master for one more time. Now, before we do anything, there is a little something that you can do right here. If you go to the Master's Wife, she will actually be asking you for, uh, for some uh, wattages. Why? Because, well, they kind of want to do a little bit of renovation to the, uh, to the dojo. So this, this, this is exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. Oh, Draven, just the person I wanted to see. Tell me, do you collect watts? Yes, I do. Of course you do. You're such a pro at this, Draven. I'll have you know that the watt business is positively booming right now around here. They say that those who hold the most watts hold the key to success. I've actually been trying to gather up watts to spruce up the dojo a bit, get more gear, but both my darling hubby and I, my son are more indoor uh, of the indoor types, you know? And it's pretty hard for me to collect the many watts of all of them on my own. If you ever happen to get some watts to spare, Draven, I'd like to take them. Oh, but I wouldn't ask you to give them to me and not get anything in return. This would be a business transaction, of course. I'll reward you with for your generosity. Whenever you have some extra watts, simply come and talk to me. So, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to give her... Let's see, I'm actually going to give her, I think, half my wattage. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and give her 10k. Okay, so that's 10k right there. And uh, with over 5,000 5, wattage, I can afford to have a hairstylist come in, uh, in the dojo. Oh. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, all right. H Hello there? Is this the hair salon? Yes, this is Honey from the Master Dojo. I was wondering if you could spare a stylist to come enjoy the lovely island life with us. Yes, that's right. The Isle of Armor. Mm-hmm. They're sending someone right now. Hmm. Okay. Hello, Dojo. It's lovely to meet you all. I'm the new hairstylist, but I can't bear all the secret arts of hairstyling to you all. So when you'd like to have something done, please call, uh, call on me in this room here. No cameras allowed. And no speaking of what you see inside this room. Oh, damn. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is looking uh, pretty fantastic right here. Now, that's a real pro. True masters are always picky about their craft. Let's see. He, <laughs> but now that we, uh, now, now we can always look our best even out here in the wild. Okay. And since we've gathered over 10K, we can order a Rotami terminal for the dojo. So it looks like we're going to be getting ourselves a PC for, you know, for, from the Pokemon Center. That way, now we can actually exchange Pokemon and whatnot. So as you can see, here it is. We were able to make a deal, and I got them to send it right here at once. Hmm. Though, it doesn't look quite right. There's something written on the screen here. So let me see. Thank you for your purchase. To get a new Rotami up and running, you must first install our proprietary software. To order your copy today, contact our sales department at... What? They're... Okay, they're simply trying to gouge us for more watts of all the greedy, conniving business practices. I'm awfully sorry about this, Draven, but it looks like we need a bit more of your help to get our Tommy up and running. Okay, so I'm going to give her an extra 10 just, you know, just in case. So let's go ahead and go... Oh, you know what? 50k. Let's give her 50, uh, 50k. It's, not, it's no big deal, guys. So now we've exceeded 200 watts or 20 uh, 20,000 watts. So let's see, we're gonna get the thing up and running. Now I, I do believe if you get yourself, uh, if you give her a million, then there should be something pretty awesome on this whole thing right here. So it looks like we're gonna be turning on the Rotamia right now. Let's see. Now that's now now that this is taken care of, let's fire it up. Oh look at that. Okay, pleased to meet you, honey. Okay, Rotamia at your service. And I'm delighted to hear. I'm sure you're worth every last watt you've cost us. In fact, we'll make sure of it. Our Rotami is up and running thanks to your watts, Draven. Be sure to use it plenty. And now that we've gotten 30k, let's see. A vending machine. Oh, we're going to get a vending machine. Holy crap. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're literally using my stuff to its fullest. Look at that. Okay. Oh, glug glug. Ah! It's something refreshing water. 
we're able to offer the drinks uh, at a far less than the usual asking price. So I get all your drinks from uh, here from now on if I were you. We've only got fresh water in stock so far, but those dojo services are really getting a robust. With some more watts, I can expand the lineup even further too. And yeah, we've <laughs> wow, they are going nuts with my rot with my wattage. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's go ahead and uh, put in some sodi pops in there. And uh, well, look at that, we got some sodi pops. And well, let's see. Now we have 50. Oh, okay, so we're gonna get lemonades. Jeebus, okay. Man, they, they're literally draining me an arm and a leg. Oh my god. Okay, so refreshing, cool down, sweaty, that's cool. Okay, so you're lucky you're, you're, you're pretty hot. Okay, so Lexi, let's go ahead and restore my Pokemon so, since, you know, we, got, we, did our, our, we did get our butts kicked right here. And now let's see, what else do we need? Let's see. Uh, hair, makeup, change my outfit. No, I'm not really going to do any of that stuff. So, now, there is one thing that I kind of want to do. I didn't really do it in my, my you know, my shield version. But I kind of want to do this. Okay, I can make some max soup e uh, that even Kung Fu's Evolution Urshifu will drink. As long as you have a max honey and max mushrooms, that is. And, yes, we want to do it. And which Pokemon would you like to give the max soup to? We are going to give this to... Where is Urshifu? Okay, we're going to give this to Urshifu right here because... I believe... Yes, it will be able to Gigantamax. I'll use three clusters of Max Mushrooms and one home of uh, Max Honey to make the Max max Soup. Is that alright? Yes. Now, throughout the game, guys, you... Uh, whoa, wow. Now able to Gigantamax. Okay, so I'm getting that ready. Now, throughout the game, like I was saying, guys, you will be able to find plenty of max mushrooms throughout the whole Isle of Armor. So do not worry, guys. It's not It's not like, you know, it's not like there's only one one mushroom here and there. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What's going to happen right now is that we will be switching up our Pokemon because uh, there is a giant battle ahead. And let's see. I could have somebody else in this team. I'm thinking about it right now. And it looks like that, you know, most of my Pokemon right here, like Mr. Mime, could rhyme it, or I could evolve it into Mr. Rhyme if I if I wanted to. Uh, it looks like to me that I've, you know, I've pretty much done everything for these Pokemon, uh, especially with Michelangelo. So I'm probably going to just gonna put Michelangelo back into the team because it's a little more level that my team will be a little more evened up and all that stuff if I make the wrong mistake then yeah you know if it might if I make a mistake then that's fine by me but it is finally time guys to take on the Grandmaster himself now does she have anything to say I want to become stronger every, uh, than everyone else but I guess this means I have to work harder than everyone else too even if it's super tedious so oh, okay and yeah I'm not talking to you homeboy okay so here it is guys we're gonna be going straight to the master See what he's all, uh, see what he's all about right here. Okay. Look at him waiting for me. Woohoo! Are you ready for another battle with the little old me? Yes. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Then let's mosey on over to the battleground. Okay, alrighty. The Vince McMahon strut ready to go. Okay. You know, I've been thinking more and more these days. About how fortunate we ha we were uh, having to join the dojo. Even if it was by mistake at first. <laughs> I can't thank you enough, Draven. It's been a while since I've been so excited. I can feel my blood burning and my heart just dancing with anticipation. I just can't resist a battle against a worthy opponent, no matter how old I get. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now then. Let's get things going. This is the most fun in the world. Oh, damn. Okay. All right. And hoo-hoo. Hold on the phone. And here comes Mr. Man Bun himself. So here are, guys, the final battle against Dojo Master Mustard. And, uh, well, he's going to be coming out with his mind shout right here. So he's coming out with everything. He's coming with everything he's got right here. And uh, these Pokemon are going to be nice and skilled. So here he is. It's been a while since I faced such a strong opponent. My blood is boiling over here. Time to see exactly what it, all this training has made you. Oh, wow. Okay. All righty. Let's go. Let's get it. Venoshock for the win. And here comes a fake out, as always, you know. 
You gotta love the fake outs. Okay, so let's go right ahead and go with a close combat for us. And, well, close combat is going to weaken his mind, Shao. And, well, let's see. Let's see what happens right here. Venoshock. Time to hit it with the win right there. And, well, let's see. We're gonna, we're gonna have to go with something pretty uh, good right here. So let's go with a Fire Lash. Here comes a U-turn, and that will barely hit us, but this guy's going to be switching out because of that U-turn. <laughs> Seems like a victory smiles on me today. Oh, wow. Okay, so he went back to Master Mustard, and he's going to choose his Pokemon right here. And here he comes out with Lycanroc. This Pokemon right here is a Rock-type Pokemon, and that attack will do something. It will lower this Pokemon's defense, so that right there is going to give me some kind of like a, well, kind of an advantage. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to be switching it up to Michelangelo. Michelangelo, let's get this. Let's get it going. Yes, it's been a while, Michelangelo. Let's go and uh, kick some butt, take some name. Here comes a Cellar Rock. Not very effective since it is a Rock-type Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for a Liquidation attack. Here comes another Stealth Rock. And, oh wait, well, this is the first Stealth Rock. And, well, Liquidation. Bam! For the win, say goodbye to Lycanroc. Uh, I see you've got your final medals down, Pat! But that won't cut it. Oh, wow. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what's going on right here. Okay, so we get some experience points. Michelangelo becoming my strongest Pokemon. Here he's going to be coming out with a Mind Shout. So this will actually give me the ability to switch out to a proper Pokemon right here. So let's go straight to Quackor the Foul. Alrighty. Quackor the Foul. Let's go. Quackor the Foul. Going up against Minshow. 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 I don't know how to pronounce it, but you know what? Here we go. Let's go straight for a Brave Bird attack. But here comes a, a Fake Out attack right here, which is pretty annoying. Very, very annoying, but just because of that, our speed has risen just a little bit. So here comes another. Oh, wow. Really? This guy is starting to get on my tits right here. He is starting to get on my tits. Okay. So here comes a Corvin Knight. And this Pokemon is a Steel type Pokemon. So this is going to be a little hard, harder than usual. So here we go. Brave Bird. Hitting it, and yes, we're going to be hit with a little bit of a refill, I believe. Brought luck over your side, have you? That makes you more enticing as an opponent. Okay, all right, so let's see. I could hit it with something pretty pretty tough right here, but it looks like to me... You know what? Let's go with the Meteor Assault. It is effective. It is going to hit this guy pretty hard, and look at this, Meteor Assault. Bam! Hits it. Beats it, I think. Has it? Critical hit? Yes. Corviknight has been defeated. Oh, yes. Okay. All righty. So here comes a looks right now. I do not want to mess with that Pokemon. So let's go straight for Optimus Prime. Let's go. Optimus Prime. Let's get it. And, uh, well, the Super Saiyan 3 Optimus Prime going up with this looks right, right here is going to be something... Uh, Pretty inter interesting. And well, here comes an Intimidate. Alright, let's go straight for a Bulldoze attack since Luxray, you know, electric type Pokemon. And there we go, getting it pretty hard. And that will lower, I believe, its speed. So here comes a Play Rough attack. And that right there hits us pretty hard. So let's go one more time with a Bulldoze attack. And there we go, Luxray has been defeated. And bam, Optimus grows to level 86. And here comes a Mind Shout. And well, I'm going to keep the current Pokemon I have because this guy is starting to get on my nerves. If I switch out to a Pokemon, it's just going to do the same thing. So let's go straight for a Boom Burst. And here comes a Fake Out like always. Yeah, this Pokemon is a fast one right here. So close combat. Holy crud. Okay. Will that? Yes, it will weaken this Pokemon. Let's go. Boom Burst attack. Bam! And there goes the annoyance. It is Mind Shout right here. Okay, alrighty, okay. So let's see. Kamo. Okay, so it is coming out with a Dragon type Pokemon right here. 
And unfortunately for me, I do not have I do not have a Pokemon that could defeat this guy quickly, but I believe Mind Fruit or uh, Kamo'o is it is a, uh, what would you call it? It is a uh, fighting type too. So let's go right ahead and get it going. And uh, there we go. Let's just uh, pray to the Pokemon Guard Arceus that, you know, this will actually work right here. So let's go straight for a Brave Bird attack and uh, Clangorous Soul. What the hell? Ah, oh, crap baskets. I do not know what that move is. I should have known and its attack has risen. Oh wait, so everything has risen, okay. And it has uh, lost a little bit of HP, but here comes a Brave Bird attack, and that right there will take care of Kamo'o. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, so there goes... There goes a uh, Kamo'o right there, and Baconator and uh, Blitzkrieg grow to another level. And here he comes out with Urshifu. So this is time to take on the Urshifu itself. So here we go, switching out to our Pokemon. And bam, Urshifu. Now, thanks to the whole Max Bear, we can actually get this Pokemon to Gigantamax into its, another, uh, its different form right here. So here we go, taking on an Urshifu. And uh, I believe this guy's gonna be the dark type Urshifu. And well, let's go right ahead and Dynamax and use Max Airstream right here. It is the dark type Urshifu, so I should have used the fighting type move right here. So here we go. Time to Gigantamax this Pokemon. And there we go. The newest form of Urshifu, the water form. Look at this guy right here. Holy crud. Okay, alrighty, so... <laughs> now you, uh... Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> so here he goes. He's gonna be Gigantamaxing his Pokemon right here. And he's looking like, wow! <laughs> oh, wow. He, he He's looking like a Street Fighter right there. That right there was scary. Okay. So Battle of the Urshifu's different forms. As you can see, that is the dark form of Urshifu. Which we will get uh, into in Pokemon Shield. And here comes the Max Airstream. Bam! Hits it pretty hard right there. And because of that, it our speed has risen just a little bit more. So here comes a Max Knuckle. And this one will hit me pretty hard right there, but it's not going to be... Yeah, it's not going to be as strong, but here comes in a, its attack has risen. So let's go straight for a Max Knuckle since it is weak to it. So here comes Max Knuckle. And... Bam! Almost defeats Urshifu. And both attack and speed has been risen. There we go. Holy crud. And... <laughs> wow, we're, we're just raising up our attacks right here. So let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a max knuckle attack. Here we go. One-legged Pokemon for the win. And that is the way you do it. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, look at that, guys. Look at that, look at that. Okay. And Quackor has grown to level 85. And there it is, guys. We have defeated Master Roshi himself. Master M Man Bun, happy as is. Strength ebbs and flows. And I did not read that last part. So one, one moment you grasp it, and the next it slips in the, from your hand. But the strength you have... Or you now have the strength that will uh, that lets you defeat me is unwavering. Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. Okay, alrighty, and we get sixty thousand of those uh, Pokebucks ready to go. And he's like, ha, 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 I held absolutely nothing back, and yet you still defeated me. The apprentice surpasses the master. A true moment of pride for the master. You deserve a very special lead card from me. Hmm. Okay, alrighty. And here we have the rare Master Elite card and all that. It seems I will have to redo my own training for uh, from scratch. Oh, darling, did I hear right? You actually lost? Yeah, he kind of did. Ah, so you all came. You know, I can't resist seeing you get all serious about battle, you cheeky thing. Oh, uh, you, uh, <laughs> you look utterly dashing, darling. Oh, wow. Get yourself a woman who loves him for no matter what, guys. It, 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 like, you do that, you win. You really, really win. 
Oh, but look at look at me getting all distracted. You were amazing, Draven. Well, looks like we'll need to have some max soup uh, tonight to celebrate. I knew you weren't just a new student. I think I'll call you Master Newbie from now on. Well, I'm not surprised one bit, Draven. I knew you'd win. And you were fabulous too, Arshifu. Oh, oh. Okay, all right, okay. Um, Draven. Oh, wow. Well, look at this pretty thing. Oh, look at her, look at her. Okay, anywho. I, I, I just, well, I guess I should congratulate you. But I won't. Why should I celebrate anything you do, huh? Still, that cleared up a lot. You're strong enough to beat the master going all out, and I never stood a chance. But the next time I face you, I'll take you on fair and square, and I won't lose, you'll see. Are you sure? <laughs> Ugh, you're downright infuriating. You know that? Almost as bad as I am. Well, at least uh, she's aware of her own flaws. Well, that wraps up the last, uh, last of the training here at the Master Dojo. Oh, back to normal, huh, Master? Draven, I hope you'll come by and have more battles with me uh, from time to time. I'm, it'll make us both stronger. Just so you're ready for when uh, the time comes. Oh, what? <laughs> well, don't worry. You'll find out what I'm talking about eventually. Uh, anyway, let's all head back, shall we? Like one big family. Alrighty, okay. Alright. So we're one big family. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty nice right there. Okay. One big family. And there it is, guys. That is the end of the Isle of Armor right here in Pokemon Sword. So, what can I say? It was kind of, it was quite, it's quite interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. And, uh, well, here we have somebody saying, Can't believe you beat the Master even when he was serious. Draven, you might be able to tackle this dojo's most grueling type of, of training ever. The restricted sparring. If you have the courage to try it, let me know. I am not doing that. That is a, a scary thing. Anywho. So. It was a... a I want to say it was pretty interesting, guys. To say the least that, you know... How, how we went about this whole adventure right here. Trust me, I got a little lazy in the beginning. Trying to trying to evolve Urshifu and all that stuff. Um, like I said, off screen, I played another version of Pokemon Shield to actually get a lay of the land and actually do this game properly, especially with uh, finding all the diglets uh, around this island. And, you know, we, we worked it out. Now, the next adventure will be the Crown Tundra. I did buy that system. And, uh, you know, right now I do not know if I'm going to do both versions of uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield because, trust me, it takes a while. Uh, I still need to check that place out in uh, my separate version of Pokemon Shield, but as soon as that comes, you guys will be seeing it in all its glory. Now, hopefully, hopefully by the time this game or this episode comes out, we will already cross 10k, and I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for helping me achieve that goal. It, it's 11 years, 11, 12 years in the making, I would like to say. 11, 12? Let's just say 11. 11 years in the making, guys, and I just want to say thank you for helping me achieve that. Hopefully, hopefully we continue on with this whole thing. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. And yes, you will be seeing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond in all its glory, too, right here on my channel. So again, thank you guys for helping me uh, achieve this goal. Thank you guys for, uh, for everything. I will see you guys in the next episode, which will be in the Crown Tundra. See you guys.